Hi, welcome to this guide about how to produce lots and lots of signs. Um, we'll get to a point where you will know how to produce basically any amount of signs. <clears throat> In this particular game, I got to around 33,000 before winning a um, space victory. Um, you can go into the um, description below and find a link to a video that explains how to, a guide that explains how to get to the Mars colony win the other sort of victory condition that is relevant for science is just sort of researching the entire tech tree uh, which requires just science but if you want to also uh, challenge yourself on production then you can also do the mass colony which requires both um, science and production now uh, I'll start uh, sort of I'll break this guide down into sort of three bits first um, give an overview of what research is actually four bits um, we'll talk about the research quarter and how that works um, how infrastructure boosts the um, research uh, the science output of research quarters and then sort of how you can turbocharge your research using uh, by picking various civilizations that are scientists so first sort of an overview of of science um, science um, basically unlocks all sorts of technologies that help unlock things like um, new units and that give you various bonuses or or buildings um, and also the buildings for example that re um, are required for the, the mass colony um, so the uh, the way to produce science so I'll move on to talking about the research quarter is by putting down lots and lots of uh, research quarters um, now, population produces some science as well, but you know, in this case, the city produces about 6,000 science and 200 of that is coming from researchers, even in a fairly large city with, with 80 population. Um, so research quarters produce science just have a base yield, which is fairly small, um, as well as providing um, uh, uh, science from infrastructure, as well as uh, sort of based on adjacency, so which is why you want to build them in this sort of pattern that I have where lots of these quarters are next to each other. Now you also need to make sure that you stay at 100% stability by using these commons quarters. Um, there's a link in the description below that talks about how to um, unlock uh, or, or how to keep your city at 100% stability even with hundreds and hundreds of quarters all over the city. Um, the other thing where you can get science is um, like you get a little bit of science from these um, strategic resource tiles. So I usually sort of seed my research quarters around one of these tiles, but then most of it will come from adjacencies um, of these research quarters next to each other. Um, then the other way to boost your infrastructure, so I'll move on to uh, science, is to use infrastructure buildings in your cities. So. You can see here that um, if I focus on the um, science ones, there is <coughs> infrastructure that just gives you additional percentage-based science in the city. Um, most, uh, and a little bit more here as well, um, most of it is that it gives you just additional base science on research quarters, as well as a huge amount of um, adjacency as well, right? So the school, the university does that. Um, the alchemy does that in a big way um, uh, and then the other year here <coughs> infrastructure is actually that just boosts the um, science that you get from from researchers but again it's not very significant in sort of the grand scheme of things right um, then sort of the last way to sort of turbocharge your science is actually by picking um, a uh, civilization that is very much research focused so for example the Swedes which is the ones that I happen to pick in this game provide plus one science on every district in the city as well as three science on research quarters so that's really powerful and they also provide a special um, district which I don't know where I've put it um, but this one gives like an additional um, science for various strategic resources and and so on. 
So in sort of summary, what you want to do to get your science to this sort of 33,000 in the empire, as well as like 6,000 in, in various cities, and you can do this fairly repeated, uh, uh, sort of repeatedly in other, in other cities. So for example, this city here has like 2,000 science, um, Thebes has like another 2,000 science. So it just sort of adds up um, with lots and lots of different cities. Is that basically you need research quarters all over the place. Um, you get some small amount of yields from sort of strategic resources, but most of it's going to come from research quarters that get base research as well as lots of yields based on adjacent research quarters. Um, and then you also want to put down infrastructure that boosts this, um, these uh, uh, adjacencies as well as base research. So you want to pick technologies that, that get you that. Um, and finally, pick various um, civilizations that give you all sorts of bonuses, usually in the form of like a special district that does something nice that maybe boosts every single research quarter in an area, um, or maybe just like an affinity or legacy bonus, legacy trait that um, that gives you percentage paid bonuses and, and so on. And if you sort of put all of that together, you'll get to like 33,000 science and, and overall in the empire and, and, and cities in the, in the thousands as well. So um, thanks for watching and um, talk to you next time. Bye.